Well, colleagues and students, I hope you're doing well, and I hope the semester has started off well for each of you. I know we're approximately in week four, and I do know uh, that we have been busy. I love seeing so many students and faculty and staff on campus and visitors as well. So I want to thank you and encourage you and, and certainly let you know uh, that Nevada State is doing important work, as we know each and every day by watching uh, what's happening in our campuses and our classrooms, and certainly also watching the impact we're having in the community. Uh, with that in mind, I want to thank all of you because it's been a couple weeks since I've uh, done one of these, but as you well know, I've been deeply engaged in the process around Nevada State's renaming. And I want to thank all of you for the lovely notes and messages that came my way as you've observed this process. I want to start off by thanking the Board of Regents for their consideration of this issue at their September meeting. Important to that uh, was the very deliberate conversation about why we think this is important and also why we think it's essential to not only our students and to our faculty and staff, but to our region as we continue to reposition Nevada as a talent development pipeline. All of these things matter because economic diversity and equity are the key messages that I'm conveying around this. And I'm very grateful that at the December meeting, I'm hopeful to be bringing back to the board the consideration of their renaming based on a series of questions that they've posed. Uh, that being said, it was an honor uh, to represent Nevada State College because we know that we matter. And it was an honor to hear the students speak and share their lived experience. It was an honor to observe our community members who sponsored uh, statements and who were very deliberate about their engagement around this issue. In particular, I, I want to uh, really call out and thank uh, the city of Henderson, the city of North Las Vegas, LVGA, uh, the Vegas Chamber, the Urban Chamber, the Latin Chamber, our Asian American Chamber. All of these folks came together to express their support of what we do at Nevada State and important to that to let them know why we matter and why this name change matters to us. So I want to thank each of them for that. I ask that we all stay tuned as we prepare for the December board meeting and knowing uh, that this message going forward is going to continue to be one around economic competitiveness, equity, and the fact that Nevada State matters to the future of this state. Uh, we also had other actions that took place at this board meeting. Uh, the board did approve our strategic plan addendum. Very grateful to them that they understand how we are building on uh, this mission that we have at Nevada State, but very important to that. Also spending considerable time talking about the learnings that we've had as a result of COVID and the intersection of all of the crises that have affected our country uh, in the last several years. Uh, we also had the name change for the School of Liberal Arts and Science Sciences and now business. You'll be hearing more about that soon. And we also had the approval of the new degree, uh, Education Specialist in School Psychology. I want to thank everyone who contributed to that, including our partners at CCSD who are uh, providing initial funding for this. We know for a fact that we are going to help uh, provide the essential workforce in education in our region. And it's an honor again to carry that message and to observe uh, the work that was done in that space. Uh, because we are relevant, we're celebrating 20 years of Nevada State doing its work and we had a phenomenal birthday bash and all year round uh, we're going to be seeing other activities and events that celebrate and ground who we are and why we do the work that we do. So I look forward to seeing many of you and hopefully all of you over the course of the year at various events. And I have to tell you, I was rather shocked that we actually even had a llama on campus. I happen to know that our acting chancellor was very impressed with the llama. Ask him about it sometime. Uh, that being said, externally, uh, we had a lot of press that took place as a result of uh, the renaming process and other issues that are going on in the community. Uh, the Review Journal, the Las Vegas Sun, the Reno Gazette, the Nevada Appeal, and even the Elko Daily Free Press. Uh, lots of people engaged around this work that we're doing. And I had the opportunity to talk before the Henderson Chamber, uh, excuse me, Henderson City Council, who unanimously supported our renaming. Also the Las Vegas Global Economic Alliance, again, their unanimous support. And I also was participated in a business round, uh, excuse me, education roundtable with the Business Review uh, Journal. 
Yeah, Nevada business, as we talked about what's important to um, educators and what we're thinking about those of us who lead in educational institutions in our region. Um, and I had the opportunity to celebrate our sister institution, uh, College of Southern Nevada, as they celebrated their 50th anniversary this year. I love seeing six of the eight college presidents be there to support them in this work and to really recognize the impact that they have. Uh, did you all know that we have a significant, almost half of our students transfer to us from CSM. It's an important thing to think about, about the relationships that we have with that organization. It was an honor to celebrate the important work they're doing. As we move into the next part, it seems like it's starting to cool down a little bit. I want to encourage each of us to continue leaning in and thinking deeply about how we show up in this community and how we make sure our mission is real. I also know that mental health is an important issue that we should be thinking deliberately about. And we're going to do uh, even more work in the space to get pathways and processes out to our employees so they understand what's happening and how we can support students and employees around mental health issues. Uh, we're also starting the budgeting process. Seems like we're always in the midst of budgeting. So I do know that you'll start to see a timeline that's going to be vetted and routed uh, throughout the college community. Uh, my commitment is for us to be very deliberate about a philosophy, about how we're approaching budgeting this year, but more importantly, uh, that we also recognize not to have people go through exercises if we know that we aren't able to support them. Right now, it's a very volatile moment as it relates to the budget. We're watching uh, how contraction uh, is affecting the funding formula. We're watching an environment where right now students are having to make hard decisions about coming to college or going to work, and that has an impact on all of that. So I'm hopeful you'll be seeing more information about that very soon. That being said, uh, I am grateful to be here. Uh, this is Spirit Week, and I love the fact that we have activities happening across the institution, that people are actively engaged. We should be proud about what we do at Nevada State. I know we are, but be loud and proud, and to celebrate uh, the black and gold, be bold and be great. And remember each and every day that Nevada State shows up for our community. You all take care and be well.